We are making a lemony icebox cake, and I know what you're thinking. What is a modern, young, gingham wearing, almost TikTok famous man like that making my grandma's icebox cake? Well, we are not. We are making a mad genius version that is so much better. So first things first, you need a very large mixing bowl because this can get messy. You're gonna add one and a half cups of mascarpone cheese. <laughs> nice and gloppy sounding. To the mascarpone cheese, one cup of heavy cream, sometimes called whipping cream. And here's where it gets messy. I'm using an electric hand mixer. Ooh, start slow, start slow. <laughs> Got some on the counter, most of it's still in the bowl. Oh, it's good. You do not want to overbeat it at this point because we are not making butter, we are making cheesecake. To this silky delicious mixture, the secret ingredient is prepared lemon curd. One cup right into mixture, a nice generous pinch of kosher salt. Now fold that all together. You can see how there are streaks of lemon curd and you just want to fold the mixture over itself until no streaks remain. This looks good, it's time for this cheesy mixture to become a cake. This is a nine by five inch loaf pan that I've lined with plastic. It's important to know what makes an icebox cake an icebox cake. You layer something super creamy, in this case our mascarpone filling, with either wafers or cookies, we're using graham crackers. Then you layer it all in a pan, pop it in the ice box or refrigerator is what we call it nowadays. Overnight, it transforms itself into this kind of spongy cake-like mixture, hence the name icebox cake. So grab a spoon, scoop some of your filling into the bottom of your loaf pan and spread it into a layer that's about a quarter inch thick. And now it's time to add a layer of graham crackers. These look like they're a little bit too big to fit in the bottom, so I'm just gonna either break or cut the graham cracker to fit. And then you just plop it right down. This is definitely the old fashioned part of an icebox cake. And once you get your first layer of graham crackers in, it's a lot easier to spread your filling. And all these graham crackers are gonna absorb some of the moisture from our filling, and they're gonna poof up and become like a little spongy. layer of graham crackers. Okay, I think we are down to the last layer here. I feel like a construction worker laying very delicious bricks. Always end with a layer of crackers because that is gonna be the base of your cake. All right, so lastly, let's cover it with that overhanging plastic that we have, just like this. And into the refrigerator, or as it was once called, an ice box, overnight to set up. Meet you back here. But there's no wait in here. I have a swap, I made it last night. We're gonna unmold our cheesecake. Let me just get rid of some of these dishes. That one doesn't do it. Should we unmold? Gotta first take this one off, and then we go like that. And then you lift up. It's so cute. I'm sorry, <clears throat> it's so handsome and masculine. I like to kind of press some berries into the top. It's not in the recipe, but I almost want to put some like lemon zest on it as a garnish. Can I go off script here? Going off book, going rogue. Just a little bit. <gasps> oh. Look at that. I think my TikTok followers and fans are gonna be thrilled. Okay, the moment of truth. It's creamy, it's a little spongy. This is mad genius. And I don't know about you, but it does not look like the icebox cakes I grew up eating. This one is chic, it's grown up, it's sophisticated. So let's do something together. Let's hit subscribe and let's make this cake TikTok famous. Is that how it works? Someone explain how to become TikTok famous.